Hi everyone, so today I thought I would film a Q&A video. Um, I get asked a lot of questions on Instagram and one day I just decided I'm gonna uh, write them all in a blog post in a video. So I hope this video will answer to most of your questions. First of all, where do I live? Where am I studying? What am I doing in life? So that's a pretty large question. Um, but first, I'm studying in Montreal at an engineering university in French. Um, I'm studying software engineering, did I said that? Um, so in life, I don't work. I get asked a lot this question, but no, I don't work. Um, I'm focusing on studying because studying is enough for me. Uh, I also have I also have a lot of involvement at school with my I'm the president of a club at university for women in engineering with my blog, my YouTube, my social media, Instagram takes up a lot of time too. So um, like I I sometimes mentor to ladies learning code. All of this makes me unable to work. Um, I prefer uh, putting time somewhere else and I have to say the internships in um, this field are enough to cover for a whole year. So yeah, if you manage well your money, you can get off pretty well. You can also read my About Me page on my blog if you want to know more information about me. There's a lot more there. So how did I learn to code? I, I'm, I'm actually going to write a whole blog post and video about this, but I just thought I would answer that question real quick. I learned um, HTML and CSS on Neopet.com, which is a game for kids. Um, a lot of people play the game, a lot of people play the game and don't understand how I learn HTML there. But um, we had guild layouts, shop layouts, user lookup layouts. So we had to design them and then code them. So that's how I started. I, um, I loved creating, I loved creating guilds. Um, so I had to do my own graphic if I wanted per it personalized to the name of my guild. So that's how it all started. I would start on paint and then I moved on to Photofield. Um, because in that, in that time Photoshop wasn't fully spread out yet. <laughs> so paint graphics would not be that bad. <laughs> oh, and I was uh, maybe 11 to 30, 13 years old when I learned. Um, yeah, I think I wanted to go check my first account and see how old I was when I created it, but it's deleted because I haven't logged in in, in too much too long. But it's weird because I kept logging back just to make sure you know, but wouldn't delete my account. But now it seems like I failed this. <laughs> I also get asked a lot which companies I'm working for, but like I said earlier, I don't work. Uh, but I can tell you about my internships. So my first one was uh, with Artopex, which is a um, factory for, for how do you call this thing? Like an uh, office factory for anything, uh, any meuble, any uh, furniture you need in, a, in an office. Um, but my job there was in tech, obviously. So um, while I was there, they switched their they're all ERP, so they were like on a character system before and um, I participated in uh, creating new dashboards in Epical because that is their new ERP. Um, I had a lot of fun there because I had to go see every everyone in the company, like accountants, um, uh, customer satisfaction people and ask them what their needs were so I could make sure that my what I would develop in the software would be would would fill all the all their needs. So that's my favorite internship until now in, in terms of the work that I had to do. So yeah, uh, my second internship, uh, which was the first one at university, was with Green Copper. Green Copper is a um, com company startup that creates mobile apps for festival for music festival around the world so i would have to develop android and iphone version of uh, a music app i had a lot of fun there uh, i was there for four months in the winter 2015 2016 so yeah 
Um, after that, I this summer I just did an internship to uh, at Unito, which is a real smaller setup that um, synchronized your task across different task manager. For example, GitHub, um, Bitbucket, GitLab, Rike, um, others that don't Alhasana, Trello. So if you, for example, if you create a task in Trello, it will sync to GitHub and um, the Asani will be synced, the comments will be synced, the due date will be synced, everything. So it's like a really deep integration of every system. So um, I had a lot of fun there, I learned a lot. Um, some employees would only speak in English, so I learned, I improved my English a bit. <laughs> That's, that, was, that was really great for me. Um, yeah, and that's it. Um, I need to do another internship in uh, fall 2018, so I really don't know where I want to go. Um, I'd like maybe ERP just to see if I, if my first internship would help me because actually I have no idea what I want to specialize in. So I'm trying to figure out now. I thought I would. I thought my internship would help me, but seriously, it hasn't. I really don't know what I want to do when I graduate. So that's a, a bit of a pain. Um, I also get asked what's my favorite programming language. Uh, I don't really have a favorite programming language. Um, I learned a lot Java and C Sharp in CJEP. And um, I have to say I quite enjoy C Sharp because I did it for like a year and a half really every day for like eight hours so I really like it I um, I became really good I also really enjoy Python and React um, I'm not the, an expert at these languages but I would like to know more about it I think Python can be really powerful and React I really like the modular aspect of it why is French my first language? <laughs> I get asked this like every week or more. Um, in Canada, we have two official languages, which are French and English. So yeah, in the province of Quebec, uh, we mostly speak French, except in Montreal, where um, English is uh, popular too, if I can say that. And um, I used to live in Montreal, I moved here only for university, so where I would live, um, French was the language we would use, and if someone can speak French, it's weird, <laughs> so yeah, my whole family speaks French, so they don't even speak English. How I learned great English? So I learned English at school, I always took it very uh, seriously to learn English, because I always thought thought that it's a language that can open a lot of barriers because uh, even in our own country um, others speak English and don't speak French so I always realized how important it is to speak in English um, so especially now that I'm in tech it's like a really a big asset to speak both languages here and everywhere in the world actually so I do everything I can to improve, just like this YouTube channel. Um, one of the reasons I started it was to improve my English speaking skills. It's quite a weird way to do so because you're like exposing yourself publicly and saying to the world you are bad at English and then you get better, but it's quite funny. Uh, I can't wait to watch uh, my old videos back and see how much improvement I made, like in a year or even six months, I'm sure I will be so much better. Um, which programming languages do I know? So um, I have pretty good knowledge in Java, C Sharp, Visual Basic, HTML, CSS, SQL, and yeah. And I have some experience in Python, VBA, JavaScript, TypeScript, React. And I already touched some Objective C and Node.js, but almost nothing. It always makes me feel weird when I see when I get a question like that because I don't really understand what is the point of asking it because at some point like all the programming language are the same, it's just writing differently. So I can say I know every programming language I think like they're all the same. 
Um, I thought C or C++ were different, but my boyfriend is learning it right now and I can understand his code like with no problem. So I just have, I can learn a new language pretty easily now. Uh, which technologies do I use for my blog? So I created my blog with wordpress.org. Um, so it's self-hosted on a digital ocean server and my team is sold that I bought it on Timforest. I also have affiliate links for all of these that I just mentioned. By the way, my normal name is on Namecheap. Um, so if you want to look at them, um, I will put my affiliate links in the description. It will help me to pay for my hosting cost. What do I want to specialize in in tech? Um, like I said earlier, I have no idea, seriously. Um, the only thing that I enjoyed more, more during my internships that were quite diversified were um, ERPs. So that's the only thing that I know I like more than anything else. But I also really like social media, blogging, um, marketing, like you know me by now, I hope, <laughs> a little bit. So I really like that, and but it's not really related to software engineering, so it's kind of it's kind of weird. I have no idea what I want to do when I graduate, so I just see how life goes. How do I manage my time to be uh, between software engineering student, my blog, my YouTube channel, my Instagram, my involvement with my club? My volunteering so that's a really great question but I think the key is that I become really organized um, I have to do list I have a great agenda where I write down everything I need to do um, I have a system for to do list that I can show you if you're interested in that in the upcoming video so yeah I think the key is, be, is to be organized and at some point when you have more and more commitments in your life like when your schedule gets loaded you know you have to do some things in the, in the amount of time that you have. So in a way, it kind of makes you more productive. So you know you have to do like maths in the next two hours or you won't have time before the exam, for example. So um, that's really a thing too. And I think uh, how I manage my time is that I work on the weekends. Like my boyfriend works eight hours on Saturdays. so. I wake up at the same time as him and I stay um, until I'm not study but I work uh, whether it's studying or my YouTube channel or anything until it comes home and then I work again in the evening. I do the same thing on Sunday when you just relax at his computer, I just work um, in the meantime. What has been my biggest challenge since I started my blog? So I had to think quite a bit about this question, um, but I really don't like um, updating my plugins and my teams on my WordPress. I hate it. <laughs> so that's my challenge because I really hate it and I never want to do it. What's my biggest achievement? So I think my biggest achievement is just being able to be where I am today. I came a long way um, from crying every night after school when I was trying to do my homework and I couldn't to being in, in software engineering. I never thought that would happen to me, that I would be able to go through it. I have ADHD and that's really difficult on some days to deal with. So I'm really happy that even if I have to work five times more hours than anyone else on any homework we are given, at least I am successful right now. So. I never thought I would be able to be where I am today, so I'm really grateful for that. What's the best language to learn how to code? So I have no idea um, if there's a language better than another one to learn, but I always suggest to learn HTML and CSS first just to get the hang of it. And then uh, I already suggested some people Python. But then some people told me that Python doesn't have like the thing like that. I don't know the word in English, but in French it's Acola. It doesn't have like a proverbial, like dot and the comma. So um, I don't know. Um, maybe Java, that's what I learned with. So anything will do, I think. <laughs> Did I ever make a project with a Raspberry Pi or an Arduino? So the answer is no. 
I already participated in a hackathon where I worked on an aerial aero glider um, at Rupert Hacks. Um, you can click on the card and uh, I will link my blog post about this event and what I did. There was also a video on my YouTube channel. Um, but yeah, I wish I could have time to work on a Raspberry Pi, um, but I don't take the time to do it. I have better things to do right now, but yeah, I would love to learn at some point in my life. So um, the last question is, how is Software Engineering Canada? Do we find job easily? Um, how of that thing? Um, all of that stuff. I get asked a lot to how it is to immigrate to Canada, but seriously, I was born in Canada, so I can help you with any immigration question. I have no idea. I was I'm Canadian. Can help you. Um, but yes, uh, I can speak about whole can the whole Canada because Canada. Some people don't realize it, but it's huge. I like it's really huge. I can only speak for Montreal and Quebec in general. So here. There's a lot of jobs. Um, my university, we have three internships offers per student, so it gives you an idea of how much um, we need people in tech. So uh, it's not hard to find a job, but um, I don't know how hard it is for an English speaker to find a job here because, um, as I said earlier, French and English are our first languages. So I don't know. Like, I'm a French speaker, I don't have this problem of not speaking in, in French and finding a job here. I don't know how much it's important to speak French to find a, a job here, but as a French speaker and an English speaker, it's, it's really easy to find a job in tech here. So, I hope that answers most of your question. If you have other questions, please ask me. I'm gonna keep writing them down and I'll do another Q&A at some point. So thanks for watching this video, I hope you enjoyed it and I will see you in another video.